Hi, welcome to the next tutorial on Genomics to Proteins Portal. For this tutorial, we're going to look at the Protein Feature Viewer. There are four previous tutorials, so if you go to the link below, you can click and watch them and you can learn more about all of the different functionality within G2P. For this tutorial, we'll start by going to the gene page. So you can type in your gene, search, and now you can view the gene page. The the first new thing that has come out of this release is that we have tabs. So you can select you can select a tab to view different information about the gene. This includes functional and structural, um, different functional and structural features. Okay. So in the first tab, you have the protein feature viewer. So um, you can. You can now easily take lots of different sequence level information, lots of information that's mapped to the protein sequence, and you can integrate it from many different data sources for your analysis. Just to go through a few, a few of the different kinds of data, you have physical chemical properties, structural features, which include features based on experimental structure, so that's PDB structure, um, and data based on predicted structure, so that's alpha-fold structure-based data. And you have Uniprot sequence features, so those are annotations from Uniprot. PTM annotations from Phosphocyte Plus, so that's phosphorylation, acetylation, methylation, annotations. And then you have experimental data, like the MAVES, so these are assay-based results from MAVEDB. And you can see kind of those top 99 and bottom 99th percentile results from the assays. So with all of that, there's a lot, there are a lot of different data sources that you can look at. And let's go into how you can interact with the Protein Feature Viewer a bit. So here I'm going to come in. I can hover over different annotations and different tracks. I can see score values as I hover. Um, I can also see classes here. I see this is a coil and a helix. I can click here this compositional bias, which I can see is proline residue. When I hover over, I see that hover text in the top left. Now I'll click on it and it will highlight the column so I can see all the overlapping features. In this case, I see these overlapping annotations from this MAVE assay, which I may want to explore more. And I can also zoom in if I want to get a closer look. Now you could see the amino acid letters popping up there. I'll zoom back out. Then I can add and remove tracks. You can see that there are a lot of additional tracks from the different data sources you can look into. And, and then just coming down here, for MAVEDB tracks, you can see additional information, additional resources, which includes these heat maps, where you can see mutation level score information. And you also have links where you can go to MAVEDB or the publication to get additional information on the tracks, uh, on the assay for that specific experiment. And you can select different assays for different experiments. After selecting and doing an analysis in Protein Feature Viewer, you can now view the data in the tab layer view. And then you can select specific tracks that you want to export out of G2P to do further analysis, either for machine learning or mapping to structure or any other kind of analysis. So you can download the data. And then in this example, I'm just going to go to a Jupyter Notebook, and I can just read in the exported data from G2P and continue with my analysis. So that's all we have for the current tutorial. If you're interested in being notified when new tutorials come online, then you can subscribe to this channel. And otherwise, thank you and take care.